Welcome to an exciting showcase of Skyrim's latest offerings. In this edition, we bring you a curated selection of must-have mods, captivating outfit combinations, and noteworthy early access mods that are revolutionizing the Skyrim experience. Join us as we delve into the immersive world of Skyrim and explore these incredible additions that will elevate your gameplay to new heights. The first mod I would like to introduce to all of you is none other than Improved Camera SE. Improved Camera is an SKSE plugin that brings a whole new level of immersion to your gaming experience. It allows you to embody a first-person body and even enables the playing of typically forced third-person animations in a first-person perspective. This mod is composed solely of SKSE plugin without any ESP files. Initially, it was exclusively shared on GitHub, but now it has finally been officially uploaded to TestNexus. This means that Improved Camera SE has reached a level of completion and refinement that warrants its official release. With Improved Camera SE, you'll be able to experience the game world from a first-person perspective like never before. It adds a first-person body through the utilization of the SKSE plugin and extends the first-person view to a wide range of animations that are typically limited to third-person, including crafting, horse riding, werewolf and vampire lord transformations, dragon riding, and virtually any situation where the game usually restricts you to a third-person view. Additionally, it provides a GUI to customize all camera settings, events, and FOV preferences. Embrace the incredible features of Improved Camera SE and immerse yourself in a truly unparalleled gaming experience. Download it now and witness the game world in ways you never thought possible. The second mod we want to introduce to you is Improved Camera SEINI Tweaks. Improved Camera SEINI Tweaks is a mod that allows you to make real-time INI modifications to the previously mentioned Improved Camera SE while in-game. You can make real-time adjustments to a total of nine areas, including general, fixes, head bob, and FOV. What's remarkable is that even within each area, you can make specific and detailed modifications. In the general section, you can toggle specific aspects of improved camera on or off according to your preferences. In the fixes section, you can decide whether to enable compatibility with various other mods. The head bob feature allows you to adjust the camera rotation in different states, while the FOV feature lets you customize the field of view for each area. By default, to activate the INI Tweaks menu, you need to press the Home key while holding down the left shift key in-game. If you want to change the key binding, you can modify the key code through the Improved Cameras INI file located in the SKSE Plugins Improved Cameras folder. We highly recommend this mod to players who desire immediate and precise modifications to Improved Camera SE within the game. The third mod we want to introduce to you is Camera Persistence Fixes. This plugin addresses various issues caused by the game's failure to properly serialize certain camera data when saving. Have you ever experienced a situation where, after using the TFC console command and saving the game, the camera ends up in an unexpected location when loading the saved file? With camera persistence fixes, even in such cases, the mod corrects the camera bug and ensures that the camera is placed at the 0, 0, 0 world coordinates, avoiding any incorrect placement so you can now comfortably save and reload while on the TFC console. You no longer have to re-enter the TFC to get it back to its original state. Furthermore, the mod ensures proper serialization of the following camera data, free camera state and camera target, utilizing the papyrus set camera target function. By resolving the serialization issues, camera persistence fixes provides a more stable and consistent camera experience in your gameplay. Fifthly, let me introduce a highly recommended outfit combination for you, curated by Arja. In response to your persistent inquiries about outfits in the comments, I've created a new segment called the Outfit Combination Corner to showcase exciting outfit combinations. The featured outfit combination is the Coco Snow Queen and Cosplay Pack combination. Let's delve into the details of the Coco Snow Queen outfit. Coco Snow Queen offers a unique Elven Mage style outfit that is sure to captivate you. The outfit provides support for CBBE 3BA and Coco Body Sabibie UNP body slides, allowing for customization. The ribbon arm, ribbon skirt, skirt and skirt rib are enhanced with HDT SMP cloth physics, adding a realistic sense of movement to these components. You'll be delighted to know that this outfit is available in a total of five captivating colors. Should you find the outfit's level of exposure too revealing for your taste, 
I recommend complementing it with the Cosplay Undies Panty and Cosplay Legs Garter Stockings Lace. By doing so, you can achieve a more modest look while simultaneously accentuating the thigh physics, creating a visually appealing combination that enhances the overall experience of wearing this outfit. The sixth mod I'd like to introduce is Adventurer's Magic Backpack and Lantern. Adventurer's Magic Backpack and Lantern is an impressive backpack mod that combines immersive survival tools with a backpack. It offers a unique and immersive experience for players who enjoy the role of an adventurer. One of the remarkable features of this mod is that all the various meshes of the backpack fully support HDT SMP. This means that the backpack and its components will have realistic and dynamic movements, adding to the immersion of the game. In addition to its functional aspects, the mod also provides customization options. Players can choose from a variety of colors for the lantern attached to the backpack. Each color choice comes with its own corresponding light, further enhancing the visual appeal and atmospheric feel of the backpack. Furthermore, the mod offers two texture versions, 2K and 4K. This allows players to select the level of detail and visual fidelity that best suits their preferences and system capabilities. The attention to detail and consideration for player choice make this mod stand out. In this time, I'd like to introduce two mods that are still in the early access stage but worth your attention. The first mod I'd like to introduce is the MCO ADXP Witcher moveset. This moveset is available for both male and female characters and utilizes the key trace and payload systems. When you press the left or right dodge buttons along with the attack button, it triggers unique attack animations, incorporating the signature ward mechanic from the Witcher series. The combat animations are remarkably captivating and give you a genuine Witcher 3 feel, complete with the use of wards during certain combos. When used in conjunction with the recently introduced Kitty Tail's Witcher Magic mod, you can truly immerse yourself in the atmosphere of the Witcher. Keep an eye on the development progress of this moveset and its potential upload to Nexus. It's a fantastic moveset that adds a touch of The Witcher to your gameplay. The second early access mod I'd like to introduce is Edge UI Interface Mod. The Edge UI Interface Mod goes beyond a mere cosmetic overhaul of the Skyrim interface. It brings a modern and innovative touch to every aspect of the game's interface design. Starting from the main menu, you'll immediately notice the sleek and stylish changes that have been made. One of the standout features is the redesigned Favorites menu. It now features an angled layout that adds a sense of depth and visual interest. Navigating through your favorite items becomes more visually appealing and intuitive. The mod doesn't stop at the menu screens. Even during gameplay, you'll notice the striking yellow interface elements that set this mod apart from the standard Skyrim experience. These unique touches help create a fresh and immersive atmosphere. The loading screen is also given a significant upgrade. Instead of the usual static image, the mod introduces a randomized showcase of your own screenshots. This personal touch adds a level of customization and variety to the loading experience. Furthermore, when interacting with NPCs or opening various menus, the mod incorporates a depth of field effect, adding a touch of realism and visual interest to these interactions. While the mod is currently in its early access stage, it's already clear that it has the potential to become an essential addition for those seeking a modernized and captivating user interface in Skyrim. Keep an eye on its development and updates as it continues to refine and enhance the overall UI experience. As we conclude this journey through Skyrim's innovative mods and captivating outfit combinations, we hope you've discovered new ways to enhance your adventure. Whether it's wielding the Witcher moveset, enjoying the Modern Edge UI interface, or experimenting with the adventurer's magic backpack and lantern, these mods bring fresh perspectives to the world of Skyrim. Stay tuned for more updates and exciting developments in the Skyrim modding community. Happy gaming, and may your adventures be ever thrilling.